Foodies and fishers will soon have an idea how clean their favorite restaurants are before even walking inside. The health department started assigning letter grades based on inspection results and starting Friday, restaurants will need to post them on their doors. Fox 59 Scarlett O'Hara breaks down what those grades mean. If you find a big letter A on a restaurant's door, that means the Fisher's Health Department finds it exceptionally compliant. Such is the case for Schoolhouse 7 Cafe, which fittingly passed the most recent test with flying colors. We were very proud of the fact that we got an A. Um, definitely expected, though, I would say. This cafe, along with every restaurant in Fisher's, will be required to display their grades by the end of September, signaling to customers how sanitary they are. A B grade means a restaurant is acceptable. A C means it meets the minimum requirements, but any score below that threshold gets an establishment shut down. This is what an A grade looks like. It's a five by seven placard. Again, should be four to six feet off the ground and within five feet of the door. Easy to see, easy to read. It's all based on a 100 point scale. Core violations, often related to general maintenance, cost an establishment two points. The next category of infractions, which might enable those deemed priority concerns, deduct three points. Potentially hazardous violations cost five. If I saw like a B or a C, I'd be like, ah, oh, you know, do I really want to eat there? You know, do I really want to have that chance of maybe, I don't know, food poisoning? It's an extra incentive for restaurant operators to avoid missing the mark in a system supported by the CDC. Researchers say posting health department inspection results for all customers to see is linked with fewer foodborne outbreaks. We want to make sure our residents don't get sick when eating at their favorite places. Um, and this is an evidence-based strategy to make sure that that doesn't happen. A February Fox 59 investigation found limited access to restaurant inspection reports across Indiana. State law doesn't require them to be posted online. Fishers is only the second Indiana municipality to adopt this protocol. It may not be for every community and that's okay, but we think that our residents and visitors to Fishers are going to really appreciate this and our restaurants will too. You can find all available grades and inspection reports on an online dashboard. We'll have a link to it on on our website. Reporting in Fisher, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News. Scarlett, thank you. Right now, of the more than 300 permanent restaurants in Fishers, 85% have A grades, 28 restaurants have B grades, and 17 have C grades.